congressional district in Congress. That 7th congressional district is a historic district. It includes the historic cities of Tuscaloosa, yeah. Tuscaloosa Birmingham, yeah. and my hometown of Selma, Alabama. All right. And I want all of you to know that I've come here because in three days we will have an election. I consider to be one of the most consequential elections in our lifetime. And I actually don't think that it's even close. I think that if you compare the two candidates that are running, Kamala Harris hands down wins. I mean, her vision of America is a positive one. Don't y'all want joy? We need to be bringing back joy to the White House. I, I also think that you don't want to go back. Can I hear it? I'm not going back. I'm not going back. I'm not going back. I'm not going back. We're not going back. I mean, she is talking about an America and a, creating an America that works for everyone. She's being inclusive. She's seeking to unify us. She believes with all of her fiber that this new economic economy that she is trying to create will uplift the least of these, the lost, the un, I mean, the unvotable. We believe that she will uplift all of us. And in her efforts to uplift all of us, she will bring us back joy. And I also think that the other side, uh, well, they've already laid out their plan. It's called Project 2025. Y'all heard about that? Yeah. yeah. And Project 2025 would give the president unprecedented power. And we know what this president, the, this former president, would do with that power. And I don't know about you, but I'm not going back. Not going back. I'm not going back. Not going back. We are going to go forward with a new generation of young leadership. A new generation of young, vibrant leadership that will lead this nation and make sure that the next generation, I see all of these beautiful children, that the next generation is left a better America than we have. Yes, it's about moving forward. Yeah. Now, right. I want you to move forward, and I know we can move forward, but we need to do what? Vote. You gotta vote. You gotta vote. You gotta vote. If you think about it, the extremists are trying to take our vote away. If it wasn't so precious, why are they fighting so hard to make sure that we don't vote? Right? right? So we know that people died March for the right to vote. But I want you to know that your vote is directly linked to how well this country does. All right. I mean, if you people say, oh, I don't have to vote because if I vote, it doesn't make a difference. Just look at, just look at Georgia. People waited in line a long time to vote. Right. Right. And in doing so, they made a difference. We have a black and a Jewish senator, two senators right. from Georgia. Yeah. Two Democratic senators from Georgia. Yeah. One black and one Jewish. We would never have had that if people didn't oh. vote. You gotta vote. That's right. You gotta vote. You can't complain if you don't vote. That's right. You gotta hold, we have to hold me and every other elected official accountable. Because we stand up here and we tell you what we're gonna do. And I want you to know that I humbly ask for re-election because I believe I have delivered for Alabama 7th Congressional District. $17 million raise rent for Tuscaloosa. $50 million for Birmingham's housing. All right, historic preservation in Selma. And I will continue to do that because I know what's possible from our district with resources and opportunity. I get to live it every day. And my office works hard as hell every day to make sure all of us in this district have those opportunities and have those resources. And Kamala can't do it alone. She needs a Congress that is going to vote for the policies that she's seeking to institute. I mean, just think about it. She's taking care of, you know, the entrepreneurs by giving us access to more capital. Yeah. She wants to make sure that how a home, a house, is affordable for everyone. And she's willing to invest in you and me yeah. by using federal taxpayer money 
to give people a hand up. Okay? And that is what we need. We need someone who is compassionate, who knows from when she comes, and is prepared day one. Not only is she qualified, she's overqualified. Not only is she our vice president, but she was a prosecutor, a U.S. attorney, and a senator. And now she's vice president. I mean, any who, by any standard, by any standard, she is prepared, principled, and passionate about this country. And because she is, she has earned our vote. So, when we vote, we win. I can't hear you. When we vote, we win. When we vote, we win. We, vote, we, win. we all win if people go to the polls and they vote. I want you to vote blue up and down the ballot. Up and down the ballot. There's actually one bubble that you can actually circle in that says Democratic Party. And you get me, you get Kamala, you get everyone. You get Sonny, make sure where she. We, you get everybody. You get everybody. So please, vote the straight Democratic ticket because it's Democrats that have delivered for America. It's been under Democratic administration that we've cut our debt, not gained our debt. You, you do know that our former president did a, the only thing he passed was a tax cut for the wealthy. And it's paid for on our backs, $1.3 trillion. But what did the Democrat administration do? Biden Harris gave us the American Rescue Plan that literally rescued cities and states and towns. Everybody got a check. Yep. Did you get a stimulus check? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. So I'm just saying, and not only did they do that, everybody that I have known, every president has come up and said, we're going to do something about infrastructure. We're going to do something about infrastructure. Well, there was only one president, one administration, that actually, for the first time since, the, uh, since Eisenhower created the highway system, invested in our infrastructure. And your congresswoman said, infrastructure is not just roads and bridges, it's water and sewer, it's broadband. Okay? And we have billions coming into Alabama because of that. Now they may take, try to take credit for that $500 billion uh, 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 bridge that's going on in Mobile. But that was courtesy of the Biden-Harris administration. And I want you to know that the broadband, the fiber optics that are being laid in the black belt and in the wire graph, that's courtesy of Biden-Harris. So Kamala is ready. She's ready, she's battle tested, she's prepared, and she will, if we vote, be the 47th president of these United States. We're doing it. We're voting for her not because she's black, not because she's a woman. We're voting for her because she's prepared and qualified. That's what we need. And we need someone in the White House that will bring us joy. Not some doomsday scenario that the former president talks about. Okay? So, when I say vote, you say win. Vote! Win! Vote! Win! When I say vote, you say now. Vote! Now! Vote! Now! And when we vote, we, we win. win! Let's go to the polls and show folks how we win. All right, thank you. social media at Happening Beham for more information. Download the What's Happening Birmingham app today. Your source for everything Birmingham.